now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, it felt like some baseball weather today, but it's not going to be the prettiest of days tomorrow. Some rain coming back, and we will be cooling off by early next week. Back to some winter weather. But this evening, not too bad at all. We're expecting temperatures just drop back into the mid and upper 40s. Some clouds increasing. Winds will stay up, so a little bit of a chill in the air. Probably those wind chill numbers dropping back into the 30s. And then tomorrow, clouds and rain around, mostly between 45 and 50 degrees through the day. 49 degrees at noon and 46 at 5 o'clock. Our weather other headlines tonight. Clouds will return to the area. We'll even see a chance of some late night showers and then breezy with showers around the area on Saturday. At least we dry out Sunday, but it turns a little cooler. And then Monday, colder and even some snow showers in the air once again. Low temperatures tonight, uh, low to mid 40s across western Ohio. And then we'll find those temperatures tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned there, upper 40s to about 50 degrees. A little better chance of hitting some upper 50s down toward Charleston, West Virginia, where the rain may hold off just a, a little bit later into the day. And then we cool off slightly on Sunday with those highs dropping back into the low to middle 40s. So the SVG Chevrolet time lapse showing clear skies there for a good part of the afternoon. But toward the end of the afternoon, into the evening, some of those clouds beginning to move in from the west. And we're even getting some light rain showers showing up out over the central part of Indiana. And a few of these showers will uh, tend to reach us. Most of that will pass to the northwest of Dayton. But late tonight with an approaching cold front, more Rain developing southwest will have a better chance. Some of those late night showers after about four or five o'clock in the morning. Looks like traffic pretty slow there in the southbound lane of I-75. Stay away from that over the next hour or so. 51 currently in Dayton. We have a south wind at 14 and 33 percent the relative humidity. Very low humidity today around the region, mostly between about 20 and 30 percent. Weather checkers tonight: Tom Wyckoff in Springfield, 52 degrees, but then Barbara Richards in Kettering at 55. Gary. Rust in Camden, 55 degrees. So about a five degree temperature spread over the area. Current wind speeds out of the south about 14 miles per hour, but sustained winds around 30 at Chicago and factoring in some of the wind gusts 38 Chicago, 37 Springfield, Illinois. No wind gusts reported for us, but you can see some of those numbers between 20 and 25 to the west. Future track forecast map showing those clouds moving in tonight, and then we'll have the chance of showers late tonight. Rain showers more on than off through the day. On Saturday, and then finally, a cold front pushing through, maybe a couple of lingering early evening showers, and behind the front, back to some dry and slightly cooler weather on Sunday. The next Arctic cold front drops into the area as we get to Saturday night and Sunday, and with that front moving in, uh, we'll even see the chance of some snow showers, especially on Monday. Increasing clouds tonight, a bit of a wind out there, may ease off a little bit this evening briefly, but then pick back up tonight about 15 to 20, gusting to 25. Cloudy and breezy tomorrow, occasional showers, some of the stronger winds in the morning, backing off to 10 to 20 in the afternoon and only up near 50 degrees. So we'll spend the day mostly in the 40s with those scattered showers. 43 the high on Sunday, partly sunny skies, right at the freezing mark on Monday. Monday. We'll have a chance of some snow showers. Dry weather Tuesday, a low of 15 with a high of 30, up to 45 Wednesday, and a chance of rain and snow again on Thursday as we start February with a high near 40 and some of that colder weather coming back for the start of the month of February. But uh, not a bad temperature for the final weekend of January. It would have been nice to carry to today into Saturday. Oh, that would have been great to have some sunshine again tomorrow with those 50s. Can't have it all. Nope, afraid not. <laughs> all right, thanks.